Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inside Outlook. I'm Paul Spaventa, Interim Superintendent for Pemberton Township Schools. Today, I'm going to answer a few more questions that have come in regarding our school reopening plans. As has already been discussed, we will be offering parents one of two options for their child's return to school. The first is a hybrid model where students attend every other day. Independent learning at home on the days when they do not attend school will be provided. The second is our all remote learning plan. Students do not come to school to the school building, but receive all instruction remotely. That proposal goes before the Board of Education tomorrow night, Wednesday, July 29th. If approved, we will be asking you to fill out a choice for each of your children in the Genesis Parent Portal beginning on Thursday. You'll have until August 12th to make your decision. And remember, your child must stay with that option until at least the end of the first marking period. Now for some updates and additional questions that came in this week. Many of you asked about how school meals will be handled, both in and out of school. Pre-packaged breakfast and lunches will be available in school. For those students part of the free and reduced meal program, all meals will be free. No one has to pay a reduced price. All reduced and free lunch students will be free. All other students will pay for meals as usual. We encourage parents to sign up for the electronic payment through the Food Services Online program on the district website. Packaged meals will also be available for students in the remote learning program at the designated times and locations. We'll inform you of those details as we get closer to the opening of school. As in the hybrid option, free and reduced meal students will receive free meals and all others will pay for their meals. As a reminder, please remember to fill out your free and reduced application prior to the start of the school year. We will notify you as those forms become available. While we discussed some health and safety protocols in our last edition, I'd like to take a minute to remind you about our cleaning protocols for the reopening of school. Regarding air filtration and ventilation, all district classrooms have ventilation systems that will operate 24 hours a day. The systems will also utilize wider openings in the dampers, which will allow for more outside air to mix with the indoor air. The district is also promoting the opening of windows when weather permits, introducing a higher rate of outside air. Opening windows are CDC recommendations for indoor air quality. Any air quality concerns should be reported to the building administrator so that the proper procedures can be followed. We were asked about additional cleaning and sterilization that will be conducted and how that's going to be monitored. The district will clean high touch areas and bathrooms more often during the hybrid schedule. In the evening, air misters will be utilized in every classroom that will thoroughly sanitize the entire area. Perhaps you've seen those on television news used on subways, buses, trains and airplanes. The facilities department will utilize checklists tailored to specific areas of the building to monitor and track cleaning sterilization. The checklist will be posted at designated locations. For bus transportation, high touch areas will be wiped down after every run. At the end of the day, decontamination will take place with the disinfectant from the rear of the bus to the front. All cleaning and sterilization liquids are approved and recommended by the CDC. More information is available online at the district website. Just click the Q&A link on the home page for a complete list. We'll be providing the entire reopening plan tomorrow night at the Board of Education meeting, Wednesday, July 29th at 6.30 p.m. at the high school. Due to social distancing, the first 80 members of the public will be admitted. After a temperature check and masks must be worn, you'll be permitted to enter. A call-in number is posted on the district website where members of the public may call in to listen to the meeting. A PowerPoint presentation of our reopening plan will be posted online at 5 o'clock tomorrow. For those who can't attend the meeting in person, you may email questions to updates at PEM.org by 6.30 p.m. and every attempt will be made to answer them. As a reminder, if you have specific questions regarding your family's situation, please reach out to your school principal. We'll not be able to address personal concerns during the board meeting, but encourage you to contact your principal to work out any concerns you have for your child. That's our update for today, and I thank you for your attention. Questions and concerns regarding the reopening of schools are always uh, coming forth and we try to answer them as they come in. We'll continue to inform you about the plan. Plans change. This is a fluid situation. The governor is in charge for the most part 
and uh, we are on top of whatever uh, mandates come down. As always, our goal is to provide a safe and healthy learning environment for our students and our staff. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time for another edition of Inside Outlook.